while you are watching this video. What are you eating or drinking? Cola, jeeps or maybe ice creams? Now let all the packed food on the ground and be as far as possible as you can. Because now our subject is healthy food. The logic of both who is eating or not will die finally is not working in real life. The quality of life of a person who has diabetes at 30 years old is not the same with a person who has heart problems at 70s. That's why we should control ourselves and do anything possible to increase our quality of life. Don't misunderstand, I'm not trying to decide what you should eat, but what we are eating these days causing serious health problems such as obesity, diabetes, heart problems or cancer. 30% of USA are suffering from obesity. But be careful, I did not say fat, I said obesity. Obesity is so common there that they have TV shows about obesity. Reality shows like The Biggest Loser, Drop That Diva, Dance Your Ass Off, The Weight of the Nation, My Big Fat Fabulous Life are watched quite a lot. World Health Organization tells that in 15 years, a third of Europe will have obesity problems, besides Netherlands. As I mentioned in my previous video, from 8 to 80 years old, they are all cycling on the streets. So, what should we eat then, if it is so serious? When you consider all these risks, what do you want to eat now? What do you want? What do you want? It's not that simple. What it's do you want? What do you want? Make a grass juice, combine it with some oats, drink it for 7 to 2 days, eat one week only raw nuts. No, we don't have that kind of magical cures. It will be great if you would only not eat processed products. We will just eat what our grandparents were eating before. Of course, if they do not have the childish attitude still. We shouldn't eat processed foods such as salami, sausage, sugar, candy, flour. Do you think is it just a coincidence that drugs are called candy? The most dangerous drug of the century is sugar. Is form of candies or sweets. Researchers show that candies are stimulating the reward part of the brain where cocaine and heroin stimulates making you addicted to them really fast. This is why every time when we see chocolate, cakes, candies, cokes, we are jumping on them immediately. Does sugar have any benefit for your appetite? You got hungry and you ate some sweets. Your blood sugar level is increased and you feel good. But do you know that after exactly 20 minutes, you are in the same position of getting hungry. You feel hungry again and you feel the need of something sweet and this paradox is putting us in an endless circle. Our body cannot burn processed sugar in the form of fructose. We turn fructose into fat. Then we welcome to obesity and other diseases. Not only snacks have sugar, but also sauces, soups, and many types of food, but especially the light products. Many light products, which we use in our diet, have lower fat, but in order to increase their shelf life, and make them tastier, many brands choose to add glucose syrup or corn syrup, which are quite not healthy. Sugar is so much in our life that, besides water, it is in almost everything. So I can hear you are saying, I'm so careful, I always drink cola zero. If there is no sugar inside, how can it have the same taste with the ones with sugar decorated? Have you ever thought about it? As I said in the beginning, we should eat and drink everything as they are in the nature. For instance, fruits, they have quite a lot of sugar inside, but they also have fibers inside. Therefore, all the sugar will be burned into energy. But what are we doing? Using juice extractor machines, we squeeze the fruit 
and throw away all the wounded parts and drink only the sugar part. If it would have more benefits, nature will give us not the fruit, but the juice directly. We are just 45,000 years of Homo sapiens and I don't think we know better than 13 billion years of Earth. Oils are another subject. As you know, we should eat oil with good cholesterol such as butter or olive oil. But there is an oil which we should cut up with. Palm oil. You are not consuming it at all in your life, right? Not even close. This oil is inside in everything we bought from chocolate till diet. We eat average 10 kilos of palm oil annually without knowing. If it is written vegetable oil on the pack, possibly it's the palm oil which is toxic and carcinogen. Rainforests are sold by governments to big companies to produce this oil by cutting all the trees. 90% of the rainforest has been destroyed in the last 20 years. It is hard to understand how humans can lose their consciousness just to get smoothier chocolate. There is also something else hard to understand. There are two groups of people who have healthy lifestyle. One side is represented by villagers who grow vegetables in the most natural way and the other hand are the ones who walk in the city with detox juices in their hands. We need to pay two, sometimes three times more to buy something natural from market. How can living the life in a healthy way become a luxury? While half of the people in this world is struggling with starvation, the other half is having problems with obesity. This shows that people are obviously doing something wrong. We, as consumers, should choose healthy products, but also producers should produce health products not because of human aspect but also because of necessity. Now good appetite and enjoy your day.